so uh, yesterday Jan introduced a little bit of Chern Simon theory, and we'll have more Chern Simon theory today. And I want to make kind of some comment, some mathematical wisdom which I learned from Alexander Kirillov concerning, which is very relevant. It's from, uh, it's, a, mm, it's some small poem by uh, some uh, famous Russian poet, Kazima Prutkov, middle of 19th century. It's about Miazotis. Miazotis is, uh, uh, Miazotis is a, is a uh, invasive plant. It's kind of r small blue flowers. Uh, its common name is Forget Me Not. In Russian, it's Nizabutka. Nizabutki, yeah. It's the same name. And uh, so it's about some poor guy, Pahomich, who is uh, on a, behind the carriage, there's a stay, stay, place on the, not sitting, just staying, and it's shaking very much. And he has a huge bunch of uh, this forget me nots. And then he had blisters on his heels. And he, then back at home, he cured them with a camphor oil. And then, reader, in this fable, cast off the forget me nots. Two, the two jokes here place it, but conclude this if so has blisters, to get rid of your pain, like our Pahomich, cure them with comfort. Yeah, so uh, uh, what I will explain is this three-dimensional manifolds, it turns them through, it's, it's kind of like forget-me-nots. We should really for, do, do, shouldn't forget to forget them. Yeah, okay. That's, <laughs> that's the point, yeah. Okay, so now I start with uh, kind of view, uh, point of view on Chern Simons. We don't have any Chern Simons section, nothing like this. No three manifolds, no groups. Uh, so I will start with certain sequence of polynomials. There are some nice polynomials uh, uh, kind of invented by Euler. Uh, um, um, you see that E0 of 1, e, 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 e n of 1 is n factorial. It, uh, it's kind of, uh, uh, it counts uh, permutations with certain number of drops, yeah, with some, some combinatorial properties. Uh, so we uh, have the sequence of polynomials which satisfy some recursive nu rule, and e n plus one is equal to x one minus x dx e n plus one plus an x e n. We define them by recursion. Okay, so these polynomials. Yeah, in fact, it's kind of complicated way to see things. You define rational functions. Uh, so this polynomials and a of x is x e n of x divide one minus x to the power n plus one. And and you start, it's, then recursion is much simpler in terms of rational functions. You just take uh, logarithmic derivatives. Okay. So you get this rational functions, A. Now make new rational functions, R. How how define them? 
I said that R0 plus R1 h bar plus R2 h bar square plus blah 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 is equal to exponent Yeah, so I use only even uh, uh, even indices of polynomials. The rest is just to define recursion. Okay, no, okay, just a second. Yeah, yeah. So I get this uh, nice rational functions, and uh, so the main hero today will be following guy yeah so it's not a function formal expression because this series is never convergent it's uh, it's kind of asymptotic expansion, and uh, this uh, satisfies Q difference equation. Yeah, so uh, actually it's a unique solution of Q difference equations which has some asymptotic and x goes to zero, it goes to maybe one. When x goes to what? Uh, uh, when x goes to a small positive number. Uh, you, you mentioned, mentioned zero and one. Sorry? You can yeah, just repeat. Goes to zero. When three. x goes to zero. Maybe I think it's one. Yeah, yeah but uh, yeah, a priori, if consider uh, try to solve this equation, uh, yeah, sorry, there is an h bar. Uh, no, I didn't get it. Oh, sorry, it's okay. No, no, it's Q difference equation. Uh, H bar is kind of very small formal parameter. And uh, uh, when you try to solve these equations, it's uh, in th this form times certain series, you can multiply by freely by exponent of any series in H bar. And this is normalization. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Let's do it like this. Yeah, so get uh, this function. And now the next thing, uh, in all this theory, whatever Chan Simons, whatever you can call, you study the, uh, some new functions of several variables, which are given by the following thing. You consider kind of n fold integral and dimensional integral. But, but this function is not defined by one difference equation. Sorry? The function is not defined uniquely by one difference equation. Okay. And, and, and by symptomatic expansions, it's uniquely defined. If you write a certain series in h bar. Oh, in this particular form. If you write in this form and put this condition, then it will be. And with this initial condition, it will be uniquely defined here. Yeah. So it's not a function, it's kind of formal expression. Uh, you can see some kind of prefactor times the uh, series, yeah. Now, you can see the functions of n variables. Ti belongs like in C star, uh, n depending on h bar, and then multiply by exponent, and here I do Something like this, it takes sum over a j log x i log x j 
OH bar plus some of bi log xi plus maybe some ch bar. Uh, and then also multiply by exponent of log xi log ti divided by h bar. And that, that product dx i log xi. Okay, and here uh, what you have, you get a, b, and c, which you can form uh, to n plus 1 matrix. It will be a symmetric matrix with rational coefficients, of, with n plus 1 coefficients. And uh, what we should do, we can, should consider various integrals like this for generic values of parameter t, or maybe for special values of parameter t. Uh, the generic values are really nice. For generic values, these things has kind of uh, automatically uh, more singularities. Uh, for generic, it has automatically more singularity, and one can get finitely many singular points, and you get finitely many series in h bar. So what's the line below that A H A cannot read it? Am I, am I, that's again. It's, it's symmetric matrix, yeah. A J is equal to A J I. Okay. So what are critical points? Critical points for the integral is a solution of the system of equations. 1 over xi is ti, product over j, xj, aj. We get the system of equation. And for generic t, it, it will have only finitely many solutions. For special values, it could be some, some variety. And this story about vanishing cycles. But for generic t, it uh, uh, has Morse critical points. All Morse for for generic t. And, and this expression, this expression uh, will have certain form. Of course, it will be 2 pH bar to power n over 2, then exponent to some something, uh, again, some exp critical value divided by h bar. The critical value depends only on an, on a vector uh, on matrix A. It doesn't depend on B and this T. And then turn certain series in uh, uh, in H bar, which will be factorially divergent. And uh, what I claim that all these guys are resurgent, resurgent, and what people study in Chern Simons, it's uh, with some boundary condition, whatever, it's expressions like this. This nothing more goes on. So uh, three dimension manifolds. I forgot what is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, critical value. Huh? Uh, it, it, but it depends only on aij and, and, and variable t, uh, on, on uh, rational matrix aij, not on b and c, and some variable t. And sum over critical values. Uh, sorry, any critical. Uh, sum over, yeah, but each critical value. Each critical value, but there are only finitely many solutions, yeah, yeah so, it's, so it's, you, get, you get finitely many series. Uh, it's, it's how many solutions of this algebraic equation for generic t? Uh, this is uh, what, a expansion of this. It's a expansion of this integral in, in critical points will have more singularity. So, it's, so there's really no question what to do. And of course, when you have kind of bad value of t, then you have degenerate manifolds, you get vanishing cycle story, and 
Yeah, but uh, he, right. he, since you get rid of Chen Simons, do you justify that that's exactly what? No. Mean? Okay, no. so <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to. Yeah. I will, Maybe I will do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you say a synthetic expansion that it's not a function; it's already a series in H bar. Yeah, but 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 since it should be independent, this critical value independence on H bar, okay, something uh, uh, depends on well H bar to power minus one only on this exponent, and uh, and consider all the rest. Are, the resurgence is already present in each factor phi. So each yeah. factor phi is yes, uh, yes, yeah, okay, but yes, yes, I, I will go to it in a second. Don't don't. Uh, don't rush, okay. Yeah, yeah so you get, uh, pl uh, for this, uh, you get plenty of various series, yeah? Maybe depending on parameters. The claims are all resurgent, and even depends parameter will be kind of analytic, depends of uh, things on resurgence, but uh, the claims that same series in H bar can appear in many different ways. In infinitely many ways. So you change metrics, change uh, number of variables, uh, uh, and uh, change ch choice of critical points and get the same series. So there are plenty of, plenty of such identities. How parameters depend on, on, on the parameters of the gauge group? I, no, no. Uh, this is my, my fable. Forget about. No, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have no. I have no idea. No, no. It's forget it. It's, it's kind of you. You have to spoil your brain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. I'm doubt. Maybe for a two years. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know too much. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will do anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. No. This was my introduction for this. Yeah. Yeah. So the main identities. So the first things, for example, you can do just Fourier transform in logarithmic coordinates, yeah? You can do Fourier transform. I, I don't have a f uh, exact formula in the notes, but, uh, 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 but it's essentially the same function of t. It's kind of maybe multiplied by exponent of log t square. Like this. Yeah, so if you make formal Fourier transform, we get the same function. Or uh, you do something. Martin, can you write a little bit that uh, E exponent raised to the power of what? Exponent of log x. On the right, in your formula. No. Uh, multiplied by exponent of log t uh, square, square to h bar, I suppose. Something like this, yeah. Just look on critical point and get right formula. Yeah, yeah. So there are plenty of plenty of identities, or uh, there was a kind of more tricky one. Again, you can see the one-dimensional integral. <coughs> consider you integrate, but will be t will be equal to zero or to one. So I don't have. To, it will be kind of like special value. If you want to calculate these things, then the critical values. Critical points will be x equal to and of course minus one. Yeah, I choose first one. And the expansion near the first critical point mm. is the following is equal to exponent minus one over forty two pi i squared of h bar. So what's the second critical value? Minus. 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 It's con conjugate. Conjugate number. Yeah. Mm. Then we get square root of some crazy algebraic number. And then we get h bar to what is it? Ah, but, mm, Square root of pi, square root of h bar. Now, rational powers of h bar also appear in this game. Uh, yeah. Oops, so, sorry, uh, no, no, not, not rational powers. And then the exponent minus 
h bar over 40. Well, there's a prefactor of h bar is something, okay, but you have in... Um, yeah, 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 you get, you get up to this square root of 2 pi h bar, you get these things. And this is also legal expression in this game because you get exponent of rational number times h bar. Yeah, yeah so it's one of identities. Uh, I don't know how to prove this, actually. I check it on computer, discovered on computer, but... Uh, yeah, so there are many identities, and uh, again, if you want to remember about three manifolds... It's not identity, it's yeah, it's asymptotic, asymptotic expansion. No, this, this one expression is equal to another. Okay, again. Yes, yes, I checked maybe 100 coefficients of this. Yeah, no, I have expansion about maybe 100 coefficients and then I realize it. Yeah, so it's something like this and kind of analogy is the following. What does mean the same things appear in many ways? These three manifolds you can make Higgard split in, uh, um, make it like surgery of some knot or whatever in infinitely many ways. Infinitely many, maybe let's say Higgard splittings. Of three manifolds, but it's definitely some kind of game uh, independent of three manifolds, and we should understand the source of all these uh, identities between various expansions. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I just said uh, uh, I didn't really show you any example of resurgence yet. Mm. Ah, maybe, maybe, uh, just I want to, to draw some picture, which you want to keep. Uh, uh, we have this equation for, for function phi, yeah, and uh, Let's call this operator y hat, and x hat will be f of x goes to x goes to f of x. Then satisfy quantum torus, you get quantum torus. And you get this equation, go to classical limit. You get a curve, and this curve, or oh, this is, is equivalently one, is equal to x plus y inverse, and uh, uh, when consider uh, a logarithm of norm f from c star square to c. And then this curve will be some kind of am amoeba. The log absolute of L of x, log absolute of L of y. And it will be certain mm. curve like this. And now what we do, uh, uh, okay, what will be geometric picture, uh, now, now I won't kind of tell you what's the geometric picture for this integral. You have, let's say, maybe in one variable, you draw this Lagrangian variety in C star square and intersect with some uh, a Lagrangian variety which is uh, straight, uh, a kind of affine subspace in logarithmic coordinates. Because if you consider the graph of differential of this quadratic expression, you get, uh, uh, you get a affine su lag Lagrangian subspace. So intersect these things with kind of various uh, uh, Lagrangian 
uh, subspaces which are straight cylinders with rational slope. And now we do some, something similar in, in many, dim many dimensions. We've got uh, kind of take many, many copies of this red guy and, and we choose some kind of Lagrangian uh, uh, green guy. And this form says that this Lagrangian is a, a graph of differential quadratic form. So it's open cell in Lagrangian Grassmannian. But one can go to some kind of uh, limiting case. Uh, let's consider something which is not a graph of one form, kind of like delta function in x variable. So what we're interested in, we're interested in just if you, uh, in, in this kind of limiting case, when you replace this aj by uh, like, like infinite matrix, uh, what you get, uh, you get a, and have just one variable, you get a value of f at a given point. Yeah, so, so what we are, sorry? Yeah, no, 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 no. The claim that it's, this way of writing, it's uh, not really complete because we have to do uh, the second part. Oh, you mean if you have delta function? Delta function, yeah, yeah. So you need two Lagrangians. I need two Lagrangians. One Lagrangian is product of f, uh, graph of differential of product of f, fx. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, so so you should have this expression R. Yeah, but just by definition of f of x, for given point x, you just get its exponential prefactor and the some constant square root of minus sets, the and then series with r r zero of x. So consider given x in c minus zero one. Yeah, mm, we get this guys r n and. You get sequence of numbers, yeah, and um, mm, let me denote something like by zeta will be two pi i log x. I assume that x is not negative real number. So zeta is different from zeta on the upper. Ah, it's not Riemann zeta, yeah. Sorry, yeah. It's just variable zeta. <laughs> yeah, I was complaining that this was another. Yeah, variable. okay. Okay. It's, uh, it's, uh, now we want to do kind of Borel summation. We want to study a series like this. Uh, for Borel summation, we do divide by factorials and make germ of uh, the things. The claim, you get analytic continuation outside outside of certain uh, cuts. But uh, but first, I just want to write you asymptotics for this Rn, for large n. Claim that Rn uh, should multiply by various things, by this zeta maybe called it zeta with index x, x something like this. It will be some, some uh, things, uh, it's, zeta will be variable here, and zeta index x it will be a specific number. It will be a position of singularity. Singularity in Borel plane. <coughs> and now, um, you do the following. You consider zeta x to power n divided by n factorial. And then the asymptotic expansion will be the following. If n is uh, even, and n goes to plus infinity, the asymptotic will be, uh, if n is even, will be 2 zeta x r1 
divided by n minus 1 plus. Can you raise the blackboard? Uh, I'll, I'll raise, yeah. So at, at, at R1 at x. At x, yeah. Plus 2. Uh, Uh, z to x maybe cube I'm saying n minus 1 and minus 2 and minus 3 r3 of x etc and if n is odd odd get 2 divided by n r0 of x yeah and if you've been on my second lecture they're exactly the same things which happens with Stirling coefficients of Stirling formula and get even uh, coefficients have asymptotic control by small odd coefficients and vice versa. Uh, or, mm, big odd coefficients are controlled by small even coefficients. And what is the natural explanation? So, sorry, what, what is on the left-hand side? It's, there is no R, no Rn on the left-hand side? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Rn. No, you're right, yeah, okay, yeah. Rn of x, yeah. Yeah, so I get the things kind of depending on parameter x, the same things holds uni uniformly. Uh, what here really goes on? It's the nearest singularity, yeah. And what is going on? Uh, maybe, maybe I can uh, use the first bit board. Is there a sum on the left-hand side? Or? Sorry? Is there a sum on the left-hand side? Or no? Left-hand side? So that's for single term, right? And oh, there, there is no sum on it's the left-hand side. Expansion of it's expansion for coefficients for large n, yeah. And uh, these things come because you have maybe uh, you have two even and odd because we have two closest singular points. I will just draw the picture. So what, what goes on in, in Borel plane? Uh, I get point z of zero when we start to expand our things. Then I get two pi i log x and start to make a cut here. Then I take two pi i of log x plus two pi i. Again, make cut, and then it will be. Uh, 2 pi i log x minus 2 pi i cut and so on. Yeah, so it just continue cuts here and I have opposite cuts. So, so the singularities are all branches of 2 pi i times all branches of logarithm and, and negative numbers. There are two, two arithmetic progressions. Uh, do you have zero in the denominator of this expression? Sorry? Do you have zero in the denominator? For example, if n is equal to 2, even. Ah, no, no, it's for large n. Uh -huh. It means it's, it's, this will be leading term. If you remove this for large n, it will be this guy. Of course, for finite n, it kind of makes, does it make sense, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, so get. Uh, 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 So, so I get this uh, series at this point, it analytically extends to the things, and, and behavior near, near all these points, uh, 2 pi i log x plus some any integer times 2 pi i, yeah, maybe plus minus, these points is the following. It's 
uh, it's called, I know, it's kind of like point zeta m, maybe uh, zeta x x m, yeah, it's this, and plus minus, yeah, plus minus. And the behavior will be the following, it will be, it will be holomorphic function of zeta minus, whatever, plus minus zeta x m, Plus again, uh, again plus minus one. Uh, it, uh, I think it's maybe plus one up half plane, uh, minus one and log half plane, times log of zeta minus this singularity, and multiply by the same series Uh, so the jump will be the same, the same, the same function. So it's it's like for Stirling formula, you get just one series which is appearing uh, everywhere. Here it's the same story. You get the same one story appears everywhere. Mm. Now that's what? Yeah, sure. So, uh, what three manifold? I mean, this. No, no, you cannot. No, I started this lecture exactly you, to avoid this question. That, <laughs> now, I, I have no answer to these questions, okay? So. <laughs> 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 I don't think this is a three manifold. No, I have no idea. No, it's a space of uh, SL2 connections. I have no idea. idea. I have no idea what I'm talking about, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I don't, I don't speak this language at all. Yeah, so. <laughs> connections. I don't know what is. Con yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. If I don't do it next year. No, yeah, I just mean this specific example. I don't think comes from a three manifold. No, very no, similar examples. He, he come has from two Lagrangians. So obviously, yeah. he yeah. intersect flat connections on the idea of the trahedral and something ah. in the complement. Yes. All yes. right, so okay. well, there's no, there's, it's not given that that results in a three manifold. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't understand. Let's it's understand the model first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have this. Sorry? It's, it's very akin to examples from three manifolds. And, and they're covered by your general situation. <laughs> yeah, just. Um, mm. Now, what, what goes on in H plane? It was Borel plane, now what goes on H plane, we should now make cuts, just again, exactly the same points, but, but now we make cuts going from zero. Yeah. And uh, uh, my kind of resumed function, we should have analytic function in sector, and if we grow through these corners, we make some uh, transformations. What are these rays? Rays are exactly the same rays that started from zero. Stokes rays? It will be Stokes rays, yeah. And infinitely many. And for example, one can now have function f up, f, f down. I choose two kind of uh, um, opposite domains. So this function on f up, it's defined on a sector, but it's analytically continued to some larger guy. You, if it's in, uh, always if function defined on a sector in this formalism, it's always extend to a larger. I think you add uh, uh, ninety degrees on the both side. Yeah, so the f up actually defined somewhere here, and f down is defined somewhere here. So you can compare them in uh, left and right. Uh, I think it's, it's ex really very similar to what we have with Stirling formula. And um, in terms of analytical crossing structure, I have kind of infinitely many transformations, and I compose all of them. And to say that it's analytic, I want to see that it will be kind of analytic uh, transformation, but it will be one by one matrix. 
Yeah, so, so what we'll have, have one by one matrix and I have some jump formula for a kind of x in, let's say, positive real number uh, line. If, if you make this analytic intuition, you have certain um, jump formula f up of h bar is equal to f down h bar it times some uh, interesting product and similar for for negative i will, I will skip it Similar, you do not invert, I mean, you don't... You invert, it just invert variables, yeah, exactly, yeah, like this, yeah. Where q1 is exponent minus 2 pi i log x divided by h bar, and q2 is exponent of minus 4 pi square divided by h bar, and I assume that h bar is kind of positive. Ah, ah it's, it's, uh, it's written, written, h bar is positive, yeah, so get things are, which are very, very small, you get convergent uh, series, you get convergent, it's, it's not a formal expression, it's actually an analytic function in each bar in this domain, uh, so it's, everything is well defined. Here we see some kind of uh, Jacobi forms, and uh, when we make this product, It's some kind of uh, uh, Laurent series into variables, and uh, you can see what, uh, um, what what monomials appear here. You get you get just two arithmetic progressions, but these two arithmetic progressions are exactly uh, what you see is that points you uh, you have here by applying central charge. When I apply central charge to this picture, you apply you get exactly this position of... Maxim, I cannot read what, what's in this picture. Coordinates are what? Uh, it's uh, it's a, a look on monomials which appear in this expression. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. so the claim is this guy is actually belongs to series in uh, Q1, say, and Q2 divided by Q1. Uh, and yeah, it's formal power series, yeah. And uh, the monomial switch appear, you can see this, you get just two, two guys. And if you apply central charge, this is my lattice, kind of square, I apply central charge, you get exactly uh, the center points on, uh, on uh, uh, left-hand side and right-hand side. Yeah, so you get uh, these functions, these are actual analytic functions, and very easy kind of theorem claim. This function is essentially the same as up to very small modifications, Fadeev dialography, which is actual analytic functions, and what central chat? You mentioned central chat. Go yeah, this numbers. It's mapped from z square to. Ah, oh, it's just the value on, on, on the elements of the lattice. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I shouldn't ask about geometry. Mm. No. Oh, this is, I don't know. No, the, it's very geometric, yeah. <laughs> Sorry? Ah, it's some integral, yeah, some periods of commodity of pair, yeah. Something like this, yeah. Yeah, I think it's actually a commodity of pair. You take union of this variety, you have union of two curves, and consider periods of commodity. Uh, yeah, gamma is will be kind of like H2 of uh, C star square relative to kind of red, uh, this curve, one is equal to X plus Y inverse, and union X is equal to one. And you get integral to form commodity of pair, and the integral to form will be mm, uh, this uh, central charge. Yeah, so it's very, very basic example, yeah, but it's 
kind of upgrade of resurgent for Stirling formula, which uh, to to quantum dialography and uh, somehow it's, it's kind of new. Uh, yeah, because there was a paper for logarithm of quantum dialogue by Kashaev and Gorofalidis, but not for dialogue from itself. Again, this uh, is, 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 is up to, up to uh, simple, simple corrections. Uh, this is Fadeev dialogue function. Uh, do you want to, to write what is it? Or? Maybe maybe Jon will write it. Yeah, I, I don't want to go to the sexual uh, thing. Okay, so it's uh, this is a very simple game. This correction is a number which does not depend on anything. Oh, it's some kind of oh, it's some ex, uh, multiple, uh, some very little. Uh, something here, nor some normalization for this stuff, yeah. So yeah, in fact, uh, what I wrote, you said that it's general pattern. I was uh, uh, lying to you, I explained like a like semi-simple part of the story. And there is some something about extension, some important thing which is really essential. And if we now I contradict to myself and go to three manifold story, yeah, in three manifold stories, this, people have observed something very bizarre. You have a contribution for trivial connection and for non-trivial connections. And if you start with contribution for non-trivial connection, get expansion, then by this ex extending and extension, you, new singularity, you see other non-trivial connections, but you never see trivial connection. And for trivial connection, you see all of them. So it's Kind of stock synthesis really asymmetric, yeah. So it's uh, uh, in kind of in simple example. If you get kind of, kind of gradient lines going in one direction, the gradient lines in another direction. Here it's asymmetric. So it's, uh, you get certain you see when you do analytic continuation yeah. in a parallel plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, so there is something uh, a bit funny here. Yeah, in all, in all this quantum invariance, uh, there's also s people write some kind of like finite num sums. Uh, I don't know, want to go to this in general, but uh, you do the following. For example, you have n, you, you consider h bar is equal exponent of 2 pi i over n. Oh, no, 2 pi i over n, yeah. A and q the exponent itself will be root of 1, close to 1. And mm, then you do, uh, instead of integrals, you get a kind of like finite sum. For example, you can see the function, uh, function on a finite set, 0, 1, and minus 1, uh, given by, uh, I, I just list your what are values of this function. So valued will be uh, this Q factorials. And then uh, um, Essentially, you get this asymptotic phi from, from this story. Uh, you should consider the limit when j over n goes to, to a constant in interval 0, 1. You consider very large n, consider very large j's, so this ratio, uh, say it's certain numbers, and in this history, you, you can see this story. And if you look on this function, uh, it looks that it uh, satisfy, should satisfy some again Q difference equation. You consider operator x hat here will be. You consider this matrix y hat it will be cyclic permutation. So x y hat is equal to Q y hat a. 
And it looks it's, it will be solution of the, sa the same equation, but it turns out it's not. So if you, if you apply this equation, this operator, and maybe called function phi n, I don't know, I don't know again, phi finite. Mm. If you find it, you get vector zero zero zero, except the first term. You get some some non-zero number, more or less one. So it means that it satisfies. Uh, it it's, it doesn't uh, something non-zero, and it's killed by one minus x. So the right equation, which is which is which this guy satisfies, is this guy, is this one. So one considers this Q, such Q difference module, which will be reducible. It will be not simple module. It will be extension of um, uh, you get reducible Q difference module. And uh, again, maybe I just draw the picture. Uh, what is the support of this module? If we go to classical limit, you add also vertical line x is equal to 1. So support will be this guy plus another vertical cylinder. Uh, if you consider classical limit, you get just union of two curves, disjoint union of two curves. Uh, and now you want to solve this equation again in wave function in, uh, uh, in this pl plane variable. And will be one solution, solution along one curve, uh, original curve will be the original diagram, but you get kind of another solution of this non-homogeneous equation along vertical curve, but because it's vertical, it's, it's better to use now different coordinates, not to project to y coordinate. So now we should intersect this horizontal cylinder, y, y is equal to constant. And if you look what is going on, You start to solve the equation. You can, if you consider Fourier transform, this thinks you get one, one, one function one, uh, identical equal to one. So it means that you, 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 now you have the following equation: one minus one minus exponent of h bar y dy times y applied to some function psi is equal to one. Mm. Because function one is killed by kind of uh, unfree transform f function one in y variable goes to delta function killed by this guy. And for this equation, there exists unique solution of the form uh, psi is equal to psi zero of y plus h bar psi one of y plus so on. Uh, we have psi i. This psi zero psi one are polynomials in y. Mm. Uh, you write, uh, you substitute to get something like this. Maybe you may make the following recursion. Start with polynomial one, and then for each n greater than one, you say that psi n is equal minus sum over k equal to one to n, one over k factorial y over dy to power k applied to y times <coughs> psi n minus k. If you substitute the things to this equation, uh, expand exp expansions uh, in, in, in series in powers of derivative, uh, eventually get this recursion, and you get, uh, oh, sorry, and you get again some things like this, c0 equal to 1, psi 1 is equal to minus 2, psi 2 is equal to minus y2 plus 2y squared, 
and then maybe show a bit more. These are really funny polynomials. Yeah, so as you hear, it's kind of first coefficient is one of factorial, and the last coefficient is factorial. Yeah, so it's things go up and down. And again, you get this polynomial and claim which is kind of uh, not scientific yet uh, is that for given y uh, if you take sum over psi n of y divided by n factorial times z to the power n make this Borel transform it's, uh, it will be again uh, analytically continued with singularities at what? At very obvious things. If you look at things about commodity of pair and periods, dialog of two plus integer times two pi i times log of y plus integer uh, two pi i squared. So it will be shifted rank to lattice by one amount and jumps Will be certain integer it will be certain integer stocks factors. And you get your original guy. Yeah, so it will be kind of like one extension of another. And jump for this we know. Yeah, and that's the whole picture. We uh, I still don't know what are jumps, so we're trying to calculate with Veronica on, on computer, yeah, it's it's quite funny, yeah, but it's um, uh, 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 it, it's, it's integer stocks um, uh, um, factors uh, and multiply by this guy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you see that it's I think it's kind of really the simplest possible example when you have this uh, extension behavior. But we still don't understand it in full uh, in, uh, uh, totality. Uh, yeah, I think it's simpler than any whatever three <laughs> manifold story you have. It's just really the most basic example. And now I just want to finish uh, kind of this very general remark about resurgence. Uh, uh, yeah, you see how can various rational functions with rational coefficients or polynomials with rational coefficients. If you substitute rational number, you get series with rational coefficients. Or, and uh, what is amazing is that if after devising by 10 factorial, you get something whose singularity will be some interesting numbers. And uh, what I see, we have examples in kind of four different kinds. kinds. Uh, this was the original story when consider integral, exponent of integral of, let's say, polynomial divided by h bar times some volume element. And consider such guys. Then singularities will be a difference between two critical values, yeah? Critical value, 2 minus critical value, 1 minus critical value, 0, something like this. It's a difference between two critical values. Uh, and uh, if you start with kind of things over rational numbers, you get algebraic numbers. You get algebraic numbers, or you get algebraic functions, if you get things depending on parameters. Uh, this case of dimension one, I have now integral of uh, one, have one form instead of a uh, function. And uh, here I get uh, new things. For example, uh, with gamma things, I get singularities will be 2 pi i z, or more general in periods of uh, one dimensional integrals, of one form of, for, for, for some point to another point. Expected, yeah, 
is the value of the central charge. It's the value of the central charge, yeah. Then, in, here in this situation, we see things like 2 pi i squared, di logs, 2 pi times logs, yeah? It's two-dimensional integral. And mm. then, uh, then in yesterday talks by uh, mm, by, by Kakei Iwaki and uh, Marcus Marinia, we see that if you do something, some Grom of Witten invariance and some uh, of some uh, Calabias refolds, uh, uh, compact or not compact, then we get, I think in local case, we get 2 pi i times two dimensional integrals in case of uh, topological recursion, uh, as Iwaki and and maybe three-dimensional integrals for uh, three forms of a cycles in Calabria three folds in uh, Markov stock, uh, which is that, that even here we miss something. Should be maybe some periods of case three surfaces depending on parameters. Should be some kind of natural sequences of rational numbers or polynomials or uh, depending on some functions or rational functions of some parameters, uh, such that uh, singularities will be like periods of case-free sur uh, surfaces, or may maybe general two-dimensional integral, and definitely you have kind of next level com complexity, <laughs> what com comes next, uh, uh, f uh, with, this, with the periods, or periods of high-dimensional varieties, appear singularity of some Borel transform, some natural uh, gadgets defined over rational numbers. Okay, thank you. Question about this last way. So there is an integrable system in each of these. You vary your uh, whatever. What is integrable system here? It's a bit shaky. Yeah. And he, here it's transcendental integrable system. Yeah. 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 Transcendental, but still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Central charge. Which yeah. is mm -hmm. to the yeah. Yeah. Um, about this kind of. Um, Deep consequential, I have a comment. Uh, 20 years ago with Stefano Marmi, we studied um, something which was very similar. In fact, your psi, I guess, is the exponential of the solution to a different equation. And we were studying the, mm -hmm. the inverse of the difference operator yeah. itself. Yeah. So th and when you can write the inverse of the yeah. difference operator using um, a decomposition, you know, the Bernoulli coefficients mm -hmm. appear, but in reality, in the bad one, you just have the decomposition mm -hmm. of uh, yeah. uh, one of a hyperbolic tangent as mm -hmm. a sum of simple poles. Okay. So the, the consequence is that when you take the Borel transform of a simple pole, you get an exponential. Yeah. And so we automatically get for the solution for the logarithm of your psi, we automatically get, get a, a series which yeah. prove that you, you can study the singularities and we get exactly that pattern. And yeah. uh, more or less, it's meromorphic in the Borel plane. Yeah, yeah. But then, when you take the exponential, yeah. you can apply the rules of alien calculus, yeah, 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 yeah. and you, un you understand th this is one possible explanation for the resurgence phenomenon that you have yeah. uh, pointed out here. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. So I can show you the details. I mean, okay, it's yeah. slightly technical. I mean, it's kind of looks kind of. It really starts with one, but it would be really strange to take lower from the suit. Well, maybe not exactly that one. I mean, yeah. because you have the, the, yeah. the dominant term with the yeah. high logarithm to, yeah. to remove first. Yeah. Yeah. No, here, here's nothing here. It's really static. Yeah, but I mean, exactly that can be recombined oh, yeah. by generating series. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I can, uh, there is a simple okay, trick okay. At, the, at the moment I can show you. Okay. <laughs> More, more questions? Yeah. I actually remember what was typically. 0, 1, 2, it's pair of complex quadrangular somewhere. Yeah, it fits in the general pocket. 3 partially if your Calabria is local, but not constant. Yeah. So but you still multiply by 2 pi i <laughs> respect to integrals. You, you add kind of C star, have conic bundle, and period of conic bundle will be extra 2 pi i. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if there are no more questions, thanks again for okay. a nice lecture. Okay.